Hey guys, we're well, back out in the garage today and I'm just buttoning up little small things that uh, I've taken care of, but I didn't get on video. And this is one thing that's fairly important that I want to make sure that um, I let you guys know about. Um, this is pretty much normal whenever you're building your own CNC machine. There's always little things that need to be, uh, problems that need to be resolved and things that need to be worked out. Uh, this has to do with the spindle and unexpected spindle startup. Uh, when I went through the wiring, I told you guys about the safety charge pump, a uh, feature that the C11GS has, and I wanted to take advantage of that. Uh, so we do have that enabled on our C11GS. And that is this jumper right here. Uh, the two top pins are enabled. And if you put it on the two bottom pins, it disables the safety charge pump. Now somewhere along the way, I had moved that jumper to disable. And if you... I ran into an issue early on with unexpected uh, spindle startup. Uh, this occurred when... I powered up the panel, but I didn't have my computer turned on. And I shot some video of this, so let me show you. Now as you see, when the power is panel the panel is powered up, but the computer is not on, you get all these LEDs turned on and that's not what we want now in order to uh, Correct this problem you have to enable the safety charge pump circuit, which I originally did but somewhere along the way uh, I had moved this jumper to disable and That may have been when I rewired pin 17 and then just ran this jumper here to the enable circuit however, I don't want this to happen to you and I want to show you exactly what what happens if this is not uh, enabled. Now by enabling the safety charge pump circuit when we power up and the computer is not powered on you do not get any of the uh, outputs on the C11GS. You will get the inputs but not the outputs and so that's what we want. So, so let's take a look at what happens when the safety charge pump is enabled and the computer is not turned on but we power up the control box. Now when we power it on we don't have that problem. Now we can leave it as it is like this and we can save our third relay there for a different function or we can run this into our VFD and take advantage of this safety charge pump feature and the third relay. So that wraps up this video. Hopefully that will help you uh, avoid any unexpected spindle startups. Uh, remember to enable your safety charge pump circuit and if you have any suggestions questions please feel free to comment thanks for watching the video thumbs up if you like the video please subscribe and most importantly be safe